Hey guys, welcome to Poor Man Mods. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of research. Um, I want to put some LED taillight and brake light bulbs in my Supra here, but not all of these are the same. And we're going to go over in this video how they're different and hopefully find the best one. So what started this was Tony, uh, as you may have seen, got his 240 running and it's all together and it's looking great. And he put LED taillight bulbs in his 240 and he got what he thought were some of the best LED taillight bulbs out there that fit that car, and I was not impressed with them. Um, what I didn't like, they were very bright, but what I didn't like was when you had the taillights on and then you hit the brakes, the difference in brightness going from just taillight to brake light wasn't all that noticeable, and I really didn't like that. Now, they were brighter than the original incandescence, but I feel like it's important to have a big difference so it's noticeable that you're hitting the brakes. Um, and here we have four LED bulbs and the standard incandescent. We're gonna pair all four of these. So right here we have four LEDs and the standard incandescent bulb. We're gonna compare all four of these in my Super here and see if we can find out which one is best and see if anything can take down the tried and true incandescent. Um, and I have spent a fair amount of money on all these bulbs so, um, it's kind of kind of disappointing how much I've spent just trying to find the right taillight bulb for this because it requires four. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get to it. We're gonna first put up the original incandescent against the bulb that Tony has, and I'm gonna show you what my concerns with this bulb. You might think it's the best one, but um, I'm gonna share with you my concerns. So let's get to it. So for this video, I'm gonna have the factory incandescent bulbs on the driver's side taillight, and we're gonna do all of our testing with the LEDs on the passenger side. So I have out the housing for the bulbs, and I'll show you a closer look at this, and then we'll get to the testing. Okay, so here is the housing for the taillights. Uh, there's two bulbs that work for the brake light and taillight, and as you can see, there is no reflector on this housing. So that's gonna be part of the problem with this test. Um, but we're going to pull these two incandescent bulbs out and we're going to throw the bulb that Tony installed, this LED. Now it is really bright, but I'm going to show you what my concern is. All right, let's get this thing installed. All right, so once once again, we have the incandescence over here and the LEDs that Tony installed in his 240 on this tail light. I'll turn the tail lights on right now. Okay, so the LEDs are significantly brighter. It's very evident, but I'll show you what my concern is. Hit the brake. I gotta find it. Okay. I think this is it. On, off. On, off. On. Oh, on, oh. So my concern with these is although they are very bright for taillights, I feel like the difference between the brake light and the taillight isn't that noticeable. I feel like you could be driving down the road and if you hit your brakes, someone might just mistake themselves for blinking. Like they might not notice that change. And even if the majority of people would notice and there's a small percentage that wouldn't, I don't think that's worth the risk. Now, Tony disagrees with me. He wants the brightest light possible, which I get where he's coming from, but I want to see the big difference, like with the incandescent, because I feel like even though that's dimmer, the difference in brightness is a lot more noticeable. So for me, I don't like these LED bulbs, and I'm not going to keep them in my car because I don't feel like they're safe. So we're going to take these out and put another pair of LEDs that I found and see if they're any different. So the the design flaw in these bulbs for being a tail light and brake light is that they have a voltage regulator built in. They don't separately light up the LEDs. So when it's just the tail light, they all light up about 75 to 80% brightness. But when you hit the brake, they light up 100%. So you're not changing the amount of LEDs that light up. They're just getting a little bit brighter, which to me is not that noticeable. So I went ahead and bought these LEDs. We'll see if they're any different. We'll throw both in and see what they look like. Okay, let's see if these LEDs offer a different result. The tail lights are brighter than the incandescent. Let's see what the brake light looks like. Hit it, babe. I got my it. Yep, all right, off, 
on, off, on. All right, so these are offering the same result and they might even be a little worse. Um, they just don't have the difference in brightness like the incandescent, although they are brighter, which to me, I don't like. I'm gonna bring it over here and see if I can show you what the LEDs look like before and after they light up for the brake light. Okay, so here are the LEDs just operating as a taillight. I have the camera darkened way down so you can actually see the individual lights. And as you can see, they are all turned on right now. Hit the brake. Okay, so there you can see there's no additional lights that turn on. They just get slightly brighter because there is that voltage regulator in there. Let off the brake. And there's hardly a difference. So let's see what our next LED has to offer. All right, this was the LED that was just in there. And it's your typical 1157 LED bulb. And I'll have a link down below to all the LEDs that I use in this video. But here's our next one. This one is a lot different. Look at that shape. The LEDs are on this underside right here. It's super hard to see. But when this is installed, the LEDs shine backwards. So, <laughs> this is gonna be interesting, but let's see what these do. And these are actually a name brand bulb. These are the Sylvania 1157s. They're super bright. Uh, that's, that's the name there, they're super bright LEDs. And they are very bright, but they offer a bizarre, well, an undesirable result, but also a desirable result. So, it's interesting. Let's take a look. All right, so on this side, we have both of the Sylvania 1157 Super Bright LEDs. Let's see the result. I bet you guys, I bet you guys were not expecting that. They appear to be dimmer than the incandescents, which when I first bought these, I was super disappointed and kind of irritated because they are not cheap. But the bulbs are very bright, but the reason they're not brighter than the, than the incandescent, it's not the bulb's fault. It's the super's fault. So uh, let's see what the brake light looks like. See, that is, the, that is the kind of result I'm looking for. Off, on, off, on. That is noticeable. The difference between the brake light and tail light is finally noticeable with this tail light. However, it's not as bright as the incandescent. Let me show you why. Hello. Yeah. Okay, so here's our problem. It's the housing for these light bulbs. Now, as you can see, there is no actual reflector. It's just white plastic, and since these LEDs are shooting back, they're just hitting the white and pretty much getting absorbed. Now, if these were in a normal vehicle, like I saw a video where these were installed into a Beetle, they worked amazing, and they also work great on motorcycles because there's reflectors in those housings. But because the Super is dumb, there is no reflector. Um, so let me demonstrate that for you. So, as you can see, you can look straight on at that LED, but all the light is shining back here. But it is still really bright. But maybe there's something we can do to make this a little better. Alright, now call me crazy, but I think in the name of science, it's worth it chrome spray paint. I'm gonna spray paint the inside of this chrome and pretty, pretty much make it into a reflector. It's stupid, I know, but in the name of science, I think it's worth it. I'm just gonna do the whole thing. Maybe it'll help out all my bulbs. And it says to do two to three light coats. Okay, so I applied four coats of this, quote, chrome paint, and it did not come out chrome. It's more of a silver. It is slightly reflective. Um, you can see a little bit of glare there. It's more reflective than the white, that's for sure. But it's not chrome. But let's see if it's gonna help us out at all with this. Not a whole lot of reflecting going on. Um, I guess it's better than nothing though. We'll put this back into the taillight and see how it looks. It looks like it might be a little bit brighter. This is just the tail lights. Let's see what the brake lights look like. Hit it, babe. Okay. Let me stand back here. Off. On. Off. On. Off. On. Okay. The incandescent is still significantly brighter. So, uh, 
We got one more LED bulb to test. Let's yank these things out and put our final set in. Okay, so these are the Sylvania 1157 bulbs that were just in there. They do produce a lot of light, but just because of the design of the housing and there's no reflector, they don't work that well in the Supra, but I have seen these work well in other cars. Here's Sylvania's other option. This is an 1157 style bulb, but they call it something different. Um, but this one is red, it's not white. This is a red bulb and it has six sides. And this one is gonna be promising because for the tail light, only one light lights up. And for the brake light, the other two light up. And uh, this has lights all the way around, not on the end though. So it should give us better lighting than this one. And it is gonna give us the performance and difference that we want. So this might be our savior. Let's go put both in and compare. So as you can see, only one of the three LEDs in each section on the bulb is lit up. This is for the taillights. Babe, can you hit the brake pedal? Okay, so significantly brighter. Two more LEDs light up for the brake light. Let's see how it looks in the housing. Okay, got the red LEDs on this side. Let's see how the taillights look. Okay, I'm thinking these finally look brighter. Finally. You can see there's a little bit of a dead spot here, but the dead spot is even larger on this side. Let's see what the tail light looks like, or the brake light. Hit it, babe. Okay. It is brighter than the incandescent. Off, on, off, on. Yes, I think this is finally the bulb I'm gonna stick with. And of course, it's the most expensive out of all of them. Okay, now wait, 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 hold on. There's been a development in this research. Soon as I stopped filming last time, and I, I ended the video there and crowned the red ones the winner, as soon as I got home, I found another contestant that I had to try. So, those were Sylvania 1157s, and they were red. And of course, when I got home, I found these. These are Sylvania's 1157, but they're white. Same exact bulb as the red, but instead of red chips, they're white chip. Now, I think these are gonna be the winner, or I think they're at least gonna be better than the red ones because when you have the same size LED chip, white is always gonna be brighter than a colored one because it has all the colors. So, it has the same amount of chips and the same size chips as the red one, but I'm pretty sure since it's white, it's gonna be a lot brighter. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have the red ones on the driver's side, there's two red ones there right now. I'm gonna put these white ones on the driver's side and we're gonna see which one is king. All right, put these LEDs in there like so. And if these are better than the reds, that'll be even better because these bulbs were cheaper. These were $15 for the pair and the reds were 20. So if it's better and cheaper, hell yeah. All right, let's see how these bad boys perform. I got the reds on the left, the whites on the right. Huh. Well, I'm not sure if the whites are brighter. I'm not entirely sure if the whites are brighter. Whites here, reds over there. The reds are definitely a more richer red, obviously because it's red light. But this seems a little bit dimmer to me. Let's see what the brake lights look like. Is this it? Yeah. Off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on. Okay, so in this shot we have the red LEDs on the left, the white LEDs on the right. Which one would you pick? I know which one I would pick. Okay, so that was the result. I'm pretty disappointed. Um, I'm pretty surprised but I'm also glad at the same time, you know? Um, I'm very disappointed that I spent more money and thought I was getting a brighter bulb and didn't because truly, truthfully, I think the red Sylvania 1157 is the best bulb out of all the ones I tested in this video. So I'm disappointed that I spent more money and didn't get a brighter bulb. I'm surprised it wasn't brighter because it is just white and not red and 
I guess my hypothesis on LED chips is wrong and the red is brighter, but I'm also glad I did this because, you know, I, I enjoy researching things and doing things in the name of science. And I know this video is probably going to help out a lot of people because it's going to get you the right bulb, or at least it's going to inform you and help you choose the right bulb for your car. Now, there are a couple bulbs in this video that I highly would not recommend, but these two I would definitely recommend. You know, this one is cheaper, the white one. The red one's a little bit more expensive, but I think the red one is the best one that I've out of all of them. So I'm going to go with the red Sylvania 1157s. Their white one is very close behind, and the other bulbs, well, they all suck for this car, to be frank. Um, the one that Tony has in his car, they might be brighter, but the difference from brake to taillight, I don't think that's safe. So that's my opinion, but you can form your own opinion on these light bulbs. Um, you can leave a comment down below which one you think won. And also, if you're interested in any of these bulbs, I'll have a link to all of them down below, or at least ones that I can find. So please like and share this video. Um, it's definitely going to help a lot of people out, so share this video, please, and subscribe. Um, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Thanks.